The Fractal Solum for noise engineering is an easy to use clock multiplier or divider. Plus it can create the craziest of time signatures packed into 4 HP. Start with simple 4 on the floor ratios, then dive in to the more complex ones. Now you're heading into unexplored territory. Okay, let's run through all the controls. At the top, the two numbers indicate the clock ratio. Here it's 1 over 4, which means for every 4 triggers in, one goes out. Turn the ratio encoder and the numbers change. Now for every 8 triggers in, 3 go out. There are tons of ratio possibilities between 1 and 16, so we grouped them together into three sections controlled by this switch. Let's look at the full list of possible ratios. When switched to 1, the ratios can be 1 over x or x over 1, where x is any number from 1 to 16. Switching to 2, 3 removes divisors that have factors that are not 2 or 3 on either top or bottom. With NM, you get any fraction from 1 over 10 to 10 over 1. This is where you get the most unusual ratios like 5 over 9 or 10 over 3. This ratio list is also in the online manual, linked in the description. To hear the two different triggers, I patched the Mr. on with the same clock that's going in, and the BIA is triggered by the out. Here's a simple 1 over 4. By the way, you don't need a constant clock going in to keep the module running. Turn the encoder to select any of the ratios. The clock comes out four different ways. The main output trigger is here. If you want to double the trigger rate, use the times two output here. If you cut the rate in half, use divide by two. And the BOC outputs a trigger at the beginning of each clock cycle based on the divide by two output to keep everything locked together. Here I'm sending the BLC to the Pons Asinorum envelope generator, then to the BIA's Morph CV to add some character to that kick. Adding a trigger into the reset starts the cycle back to the beginning. Pressing on the encoder mutes all outputs, and pressing again unmutes, still keeping everything in time. While muted, you can also change the ratio, then unmute it to activate it. Once you stay on the ratio for a second or two, both numbers flash an 8 briefly. This saves the ratio so the FS will remember it when you restart your system. Let's add a sequence into the ratio CV input. Here I'll use CV from the Vox Digitalis to modulate the ratio, generating different but synced time signatures. Having two fractal solums opens up even more possibilities. I'm patching the same clock in for both, but using different clock ratios. You can hear the second FS triggering the snare, creating some cool polyrhythm. Ha, let's end on this little jam. I'm Patrick O'Brien, and thanks for watching. Visit Noise Engineering and sign up for our newsletter at noiseengineering.us.